Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing the summer sun to see how well it removes bacteria from cleaning cloths. In November of 2023, I had a video where I tested kind of the fall sun to see how well it removes bacteria from cleaning cloths, and I can put a link to that video in the description below. And one of my viewers reminded me that I hadn't gone back and tested the summer sun. PJCDM wrote, love the test. Did you do a test with the summer sun yet? And I completely forgot. So PJ, thank you for reminding me. It is August, today's, I should look it up, I think today's August 28th. So we still have summer sun. So I am going to do the test again today. So in order to test how well the summer sun can remove bacteria from cleaning cloths, the first thing I do is I take some white cleaning cloths and I mark them with a Sharpie so I know what spot I'm using to clean. I'll take these cloths and I'll wipe them in various areas around my home in order to get bacteria on the cloth. The whole goal here is to get bacteria on this cloth. And I'll wipe areas like my kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. Then what I'll do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'll take some sterile swabs and I'll swab the cloth and put that sample in the section labeled B for before. So we wanna see how much bacteria is on this cloth before I do anything with it. Then I'll wash the cloth in my washing machine with just water. In November, I did use a Tide Pod, but for this test, I'm just gonna use water. I'll sample them as they come out of the washing machine and that'll go in A for after. Then I'll hang them in the sun to dry, and once they're fully dry, I'll take another petri dish and I'll do another sample to see how much bacteria is on the cloths after drying in the sun. So we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on the cloth before washing, after washing with just water, and then after drying in the sun. So I do have a weather vane in my yard that does give me the UV index, but I have a huge elderberry bush that sometimes blocks it. So I'm gonna use both my weather vane and also just an app to see what the UV index is today when I'm starting. When I looked just a few moments ago, the UV index on my phone said it was three, which is a moderate. When I did that test in November, the UV index went from three to one. Now it looks like at 9.30 in the morning, we're starting with the three, so we'll see what happens happens as the day goes on, but I will make a note of what the UV index is as I'm drying these out in the sun. So let's see how well the summer sun removes bacteria from my cleaning cloths.
Now for some results. So the cloth that was used to wipe the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. That's great. And in the after section, there's still a lot of bacteria on that cleaning cloth. So just washing it in the washing machine with no detergent or sanitizer or anything did not remove all the bacteria. So that's gonna go outside to dry in the sun. And then after drying in the sun, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. Now, now there's still quite a bit of bacteria there, but we most certainly can see a visible decrease from coming out of the washing machine and being dried in the sun. The cloth that was used to wipe the bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section coming out of the washing machine, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still quite a bit of bacteria on that cloth. Now let's have a look at it after it dried in the sun. That did a fantastic job. There's only one bacterial colony left on that cloth after drying in the sun. The cloth that wiped the toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And then after coming out of the washing machine, we're still seeing a lot of bacteria. Now let's look at it after it was dried in the sun. I'm seeing just about three or four bacterial colonies after drying in the sun. So that's pretty interesting. All three cloths had bacteria still on them after just going through a wash cycle in my washing machine with no laundry detergent and no sanitizer and no nothing like that. And all of them had at least a decrease in bacteria after drying in the sun. The kitchen sink struggled the most. However, there was a significant decrease in the bacteria that was on the cleaning cloths from the bathroom sink in the toilet rim. So these cloths that were dried in the sun, it took them about four hours to dry and the UV index went from three to six. Looking at the results all together, it does look like washing a cloth in just water and then drying it out in the sun did a good job at decreasing the bacteria or almost completely eliminating the bacteria from these cleaning cloths. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first. That's also in the description below so we can have a conversation about it before you send it to me. It's possible I have a video about it already that hasn't been released or perhaps I have it in queue, but let's just talk about it first. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.